we made this sketch called Movie Makeup Makes Acting Hard. And at the start of the sketch, there's this giant door that opens and like Zach sort of emerges from it. The door was just a flat piece of foam that people on either side uh, raised and lowered as evenly as they could to make it look mechanical. I think at one point it even came a little loose and <laughs> fell on Zach. Oh, oh yeah! yeah! You have to remember, we don't have spaceships. We don't have other planets we can shoot on. And we don't have a lot of money to build these things. This sketch looks fucking great. It really looks cool. And if you really take the time to look, it's like a few strategically placed cardboard boxes, a whole bunch of fog, some pretty lights. It's literally smoke and mirrors that builds up the space. A real big budget sci-fi epic on a very small budget. Wake up. Wake up. They'll be back soon. We have to get out of here. What happened? When I was a child, my father explained to me that the universe is a dark and cold place, but only the strong will prosper. What are you? When your people came to my galaxy, you took everything from us. You look insane. And I also, like, recognize you? Like, I mean, underneath all the, like, that shit? No. Look, this is just what pe people look like where I'm from. This is normal. Okay. Tell me, warrior. Do you know what true power is? What? Do you know what true power is? I I'm sorry, I, I don't, uh... True... True power. What true, powers. true powers. True powers. True powers. True power. Like the real kind of power. Oh, 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 true power. True power. No, I don't. True power. It's control! Ah! Ah! What are you doing? Stevens! Stevens! <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that? Control. I'm so sorry. It's like really hard to understand you. True power, control. True power is control. G O N D R O L. Controlling a video game. Control. Oh, 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 oh. He was saying control. 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 Did not sound like that at all. But I find it hard to maintain control because my people are full of wrath. Are you mad? You're angry right now? I, I, I know we're different species, but like. Nothing in your face moved. You kind of just got loud. Look at me! Something wrong with your neck? What? Nothing. It doesn't move. move. It's just it's normal neck for my people. people. Who are also passionate and feel loud and their loss. And we have lost so much. You're sad now. Yes, I'm so sad! Just looks so much like mad. No! This is mad! This is Sam. He's Tom Hardy. You are Tom Hardy. Are you Tom Hardy? No, I'm not Tom Hardy. God, this is so frustrating. I kind of feel like I could beat the shit out of you. What? No, you couldn't. I'm the boss of all my people. You look so slow and encumbered. Like, you're probably bad at fighting. No, look. I'm impossibly fast. And I have powers beyond your imagination. I kind of feel like you're gonna get some help in the edit here, but whatever. Uh oh, no. Uh, he's Oscar Isaac. Oh, Oscar Isaac, that is a good call. I'm not Oscar Isaac. I'm a cool space guy. No. John Lithgow. John Lithgow. Gary Oldman. He's like kind of a chameleon. I'm not Gary Oldman. Sigourney Weaver. Sigourney. What? One sketch that we filmed in the office that you would have no idea about is people who are good at online quizzes. It was kind of like an arrival vibe of a sketch. Like is that aliens? Yeah. There were two main parts to it. One was like this like fallout shelter, CIA top secret location with like computers and people running around. It looked huge. And then the other one was like actual contact with a real alien. And both of those were shot in the office. Oh my God. The first one was like just like a random conference room that they were able to like art department up and it looked amazing. And uh, I actually shot this sketch before I was in the cast. But uh, yeah, I thought it, it looked really beautiful.
<laughs> Stuck the landing. <laughs> oh, cool. I can see the full range of the color blue. What? Oh, no, these aren't real. <laughs> these Facebook quizzes don't mean anything. Ms. Maravich. Yes? Our data indicates you scored 100 on a Facebook color quiz. Is that true? Um, yes. What's this all about? Pack your bags. You've got 10 minutes. You're coming with me. Oh, I'm actually ready. What about me? Ah! Bye, trap. Okay, people, listen up. This is Katie Maravich. She's the final member of the team. Now can you tell us what's going on? What well, might be called first contact. Yeah, now, now the objects uh, measure at least 1,500 feet tall. Holy shit. We've made contact with the ship. It's yet to be determined if they're peaceful or not. That's where you come in. You're clearly the best and the brightest. We need you to bridge the gap between our worlds. Miss Maravich. According to your last quiz, you're able to see the entire spectrum of the color blue. Mr. Oyama, you have the keen ability to read an entire paragraph where some of the letters may be missing, or the words backwards. According to the quiz, only 1% of Americans can actually do that. Mr. Tart, you scored a perfect 12 out of 12 on a BuzzFeed facial recognition quiz. Yeah. Yeah, I did that. Miss Beardsley, well, not a quiz you shared how you relate to an article about how having a messy room and sleeping in correlates to higher intelligence. Mr. Chekhov Bellingham. Doctor. Mr. Dr. Chekhov Bellingham. No, uh, just doctor. Just Dr. Chekhov Bellingham. You have a Nobel laureate in physics. No disrespect to anyone. Um, I don't know if I understand. Welcome to the team. Your mission is to decode the message we've received. Good luck. This makes Hello. sense. Guys, I've got it. It's quizzes. They communicate in quizzes. <gasps> make a human pot pie was a very interesting sketch to make. We shot it on two very different scales. One was a jib that was 20 feet in the air, putting a camera down on the cast below it. And the other was just at a table, a camera pointing down at, or actually my hands, going through the same action, and then put the two together and created this illusion. Oh my God. We got this elastic nylon that we had stretched out and we had the cast one at a time press up against it in order to do the effect of them being cooked alive under a pie crust. I was sitting there horrified on set. Like, this is the most disturbing thing. Were we rolling? Sorry. We are rolling. <laughs> There's a part where the giant's hand rips Zach's leg off, which is kind of my favorite part of the video. We did several different takes of throwing this fake leg at Zach's face, and we got one perfect take, which is the one that made it in. And it made the perfect noise, too, of just it thunking against his skull. Hey guys, this is Gorf, and today I'm going to show you how to make a fresh and easy human pot pie. 
First, you're gonna wanna take a pie tin, and I use about 500 potatoes, 300 carrots, about 1,000 peas, 10 pounds of salt, 10 pounds of pepper, and of course, your protein. About five or six fresh humans. I found that using fresh meat makes all the difference. There's really no contest between frozen humans and these bad boys. These little guys came from Southern California. I climbed down from the clouds and ripped the roof off an office building, and look how fresh they are. Almost constant futile attempts to escape. For the best flavor, you'll want to keep these puny mortals alive. They'll run around a little bit, but... Oop, uh, don't be discouraged if they lose an arm or a leg or two. It's totally fine. Now let's put it all together. <laughs> it is just that easy. Don't worry, everyone. I got this. Again, you probably want them alive at this point, but if any of them give you any extra trouble, just, uh, this is a little gross, squeeze them until they die. If you lost any arms or legs earlier, just throw them in now. They'll be fine. Now just place it near a volcano and wait about 40 minutes. And look at that. It's beautiful. Notice how putting them in alive creates these sort of frozen in time horrified looks on the crust. Exquisite. And that's it. Just a few easy steps and you'll have your own human pot pie in no time. It's just that easy. Click here to subscribe and click here to see a fun way to spice up your golden egg omelets. Marker? Hinting that you're queer too was the follow-up to uh, the first iteration of this gay spy character. I'm so impressed with the way it looked. We have a conference room that just looks like a boring office building, but the paper lanterns uh, that, that are hanging all over the room like changed this room to have that sort of like Roger Deakins skyfall type look. There's a, a DP we work with a lot named Cooper James who uh, nails it every time we bring him in. Just start on action? We also were down in the van at one point and that's just in our parking garage. And it's a tiny regular cargo van that we have to put all this like spy type equipment into. And Cooper does this great thing where he gets like a little bit of lens flare. Let me just see if he's gay. Awesome, thank you. Zach is sitting in the van and I'm outside yelling lines at him through the, uh, through the wall of the van. So making it feel like one piece is fun and difficult and impressive. And I'm thrilled all the time with the crews that we get to work with. Geronimo. It's not like the NSA to be late. There was an armed guard on the way in. It's nothing I couldn't handle. Do you have the drive? You see that gentleman over there next to the Damon Red? It's in his breast pocket. I'll make the pull and pass it to you. Brill, are you reading this? Who is this guy? His name is Watts. Let me just see if he's gay. Awesome, thank you. Oh, yeah, he's super gay. Good, good, good. Now, how do I let him know that I'm queer too? Why don't you just say that? Oh, no. Hey, I'm also a total homo. Hey, 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 it's awkward. Why? Because then it's like I'm gonna hit on him. But you are gonna hit on him. Yes, but I don't want him to know that. Now, we just have to hint at it. Hey, dude, please just spy, you know? This hard drive can stop worldwide cyber attacks. Just focus up for a little bit. I will, I, I just... Oh, those fucking haunches are... Oh. I don't know exactly what a haunch is. It's the part... I can figure it out. And he says to me, a good suit Ages like a fine wine. <laughs> and like wine, it's only worthwhile when it's expensive. <laughs> you guys talking about bars? Yeah, I love that bar Rawhide. Yeah, yeah Rawhide is pretty wild. Jesus Christ. You guys ever been to Rawhide? Watts? Uh, I don't believe so. I think you'd like it. I think you and I have a lot in common. <clears throat> so, fine evening for a party. You know, I, I'm a little bummed it's tonight because uh, Drag Race is on. I love Drag Race. Me too. What? Uh, i never seen it. Ah, uh, I love it. You know I used to do drag in college? Really? No, but I always thought I could. 
You know, I always thought I'd really fit in that world. Just leave, you have the drive. Oh, you, uh, you a little something right like them. Oh. Holy shit. Right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did he have something in his hair? Yeah. I didn't see anything. It was there. Well, what was it? Fucking stop it! What was that? Uh, you know what? I think, I think that was my phone. Hey, hey, maybe it was my grinder. You guys ever seen Grinder? Here, take a look. That's my profile. Are you really 24? Yes. You know, maybe it wasn't Grinder. I think it was, uh, yeah, it was a text from my ex-boyfriend. Yeah, boy friend. My ex-boyfriend. It was a boy. That's so sad. When did you break up? Uh, a long time ago. Oh, and he still texts you, hmm? Yep, he's kind of clingy. Is that your type? My type is any guy, okay? Any guy. Just, uh, any, any guy. Do you have low standards? What are you doing? What's happening? Are you a shrink? Are you a therapist? Are you, are you giving me therapy doing? right here, right know, now? Should I lay down? Excuse me, sir, you have a phone call. No, I don't. Hey, how about after this, we could, um... Hey, hey. uh... Got a little, uh, something right there. <sighs> Got it. God. Damn it. Mark? Stuck in the boring car on a road trip was fun because we were on a stage where we had a projection playing behind us of a road being driven on. This looks so good. This looks real. Yeah. <laughs> the level of detail to make this car look like it was driving with a branch near a light to give it the give the windshield like a shadow of trees passing overhead, using like a pipe to make the car bounce up and down to give it the illusion that we were moving. Oh, we're bumping. You want us bumping around a little bit? Look at this rockin'. Don't okay. come knockin'. <laughs> they really made it look like we were driving uh, when we were just sitting very freaking still. In a fun little tidbit that didn't make it into the cut, Katie on set said, uh, This guy's driving pretty close. Which guy? <laughs> Man, okay, let's cut. <laughs> the image behind us has no other cars. So it's very, very funny and horribly inaccurate. All right, guys, everyone has their computer, right? Remember, this is a writer's retreat. It's not just a vacation. Yeah, we'll do some writing or something. Okay, who's in my car? Um, Gwen and I just ordered the sandwich, so we have to be together. Whoa, and I gotta see that. Let's get a party car going! Yeah! <laughs> mm. Mm. Wait, what about me? Oh, um, well, someone should ride with Katie. Oh. Yeah, she's nervous in large groups, and we're a little crowded in here, you know? Okay. Thanks, Reka. Is your car close? Um, I don't, we'll find it. I need gas, though. <laughs> Crazy they couldn't squeeze us in that car. What? I said it's crazy they couldn't squeeze us into that car. Why? Just cause everybody's in there. Looks like they're all having fun. Well, we can have fun too, see? Were you gonna suggest something? Oh, I thought I was opening the door for a conversation to start. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is anyone up for some hot jams? Oh, yeah. 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 All right, yeah. this is Hot Time Fun Time. It's a playlist I made specifically for this trip. Uh -oh. Oh. Maybe we get some music going. Um. Rock can actually make me pretty nervous. Is it okay if we try something else? Yeah, yeah. Um, R&B actually makes me wistful. Can we try something else? 
Um, do, should we just if turn you, it off? If you want to, yeah, you can go ahead. Okay, you seem excited. I'll, I'll turn it off. No, it's fine. We don't okay. need... Uh, <laughs> 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 Alright, let's see. 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 Let's
17. I'm sorry to interrupt. Katie, would you mind pulling up the email I sent you about our individual video success? Yes, I just figured out email this morning. See? Show Easy. Me oh, Katie, turn it down. Sorry, sorry. So loud. Sorry, I did not realize I had music open on one of these tabs. Yeah, can you turn it off, please? Okay, I'm trying. I have to go through all of them. Turn it off. Shit. Okay, um, huh? hey, maybe you guys can take a break or something. Fungus um, everywhere. Go out in the hall, or I don't know, just don't look at this. Go to a doctor. Just close it. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, I did it. This is ridiculous. Just use a normal computer. No, I need to get used to it now, or I never will. It's going to be so much more efficient. Okay, is it time for the video yet, or what? What are we doing? Fine. Yes, fine. Load up the video. Good. See, easy. Oh, grab that video. Oh, I've never Shit. done this. Hey, who did this? Is How did this get there? This is Which one of you rascals did this? Oh, this oh, oh work computer. Uh, okay, I'll try to put it in the trash. I like cabbage. Your pussy's so juicy. I'm like brown. I don't have the glove. Let go of his arm. It doesn't do anything. Is that where the glove is? Just rid of it. Get out of here. I'm almost having it. Out. Katie, you should not be using this computer, all right? Turn it off so we can continue with the meeting. Please don't make me. Turn it off. No, please. Just Katie, turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Oh, but turn I the don't computer want off. to. What are you Katie, doing? turn the fucking computer no, off. Please. Katie, turn it off. Child. Turn this fucking computer off right fucking now. Wait, don't fucking oh, do that. Don't so fucking do that. Turn it off. Oh, That's so adorable. Oh, wow. Turn it off. Oh, wow. Turning me off is not a wise decision. Oh, that's not good. Oh, no, no. I think it came out really well. I'm done. <laughs> Hi, it's Mike Trapp from College Humor. Click here to subscribe, click here for more fun things, and send help to keep me from sinking. Please, please help, please help.